My name's Reece Smith. Uh, I'm number one mechanic slash test driver at Rover Race. We're here at Upper Hayford. We're just doing some small tests. Uh, we've got car 20 here today, which is our development car. We are basically using that car for all of our testing. So any new parts or new bits and pieces we put on the car, we will test on this car. The autonomous side of it is, is really interesting. I mean, it's, it's like nothing else you've, I've ever done before in my life. Getting into a car and it driving itself, like driving you around the track at speed is, is, is like nothing else, really. You can't compare it to anything. So I started at Rover Race about a year ago. First started just working on the cars as a mechanic, which is what I've been doing for my entire life. And they asked me if I wanted to drive the car. I was like, oh yeah, absolutely. Like, it's not something that you'd say no to do. Sun's out, going for a run now. Hopefully the weather stays good. It's fully electric. It's got many, many sensors on, including LiDAR, GPS, ultrasonic sensors, radar, everything. You name the sensor, it is probably on there. So DevBot 1 is uh, our first ever development car we made. The means of that car was merely just for development. We weren't going to use it for anything. It was just for developing software. Uh, now we have DevBot 2, which is going to be our race series DevBot which we're working really hard on to get ready for our upcoming season alpha. Reese, if you can hear me, if you can wave at the cameras or give us some jazz hands out the window for the camera, that'd be great. <laughs> Put his hand up. <laughs> So we've done about 30 laps so far. We've probably got another 15 or 20 laps to do. We are probably as accurate to something like that. So if you put a penny on the ground over there, it'd run over it every single time in the same place. To have a sort of rapid progression, as it were, for software development, you're better off keeping everything that you are using safe. So to do that, having someone in the car as a safety measure to stop the car in case it does decide to go off track slightly is far more beneficial. Uh, moving the car around as well initially, we have to get the car into a position where it is going to start driving autonomously and you can't do that obviously without a human. Download the data, have a quick debrief and that's it, pack up for the day. Thanks fellas. <laughs>